One, three. One, two, three. <laughs> BusinessJournalDaily.com. Three Minutes With is brought to you by Farmers National Bank. I like a bank that's a pillar in my community. I like a bank so cutting edge, they have a lab branch. We are so alike. Well, we do both bank at Farmers National Bank. Farmers. Stand strong. Our manufacturing process here involves some new technology to our company, vacuum induction melting where we melt our steel under a vacuum. When that process is completed, that material is then ground and typically gets remelted in a process called vacuum arc remelting. So what we're talking about here is adding two vacuum arc remelt furnaces. We already have five. And the reason why we continue to invest in this company obviously is we see the growth opportunity and we're also trying to invest to time the growth in the business. So we would expect the investment here which involves a building expansion to be done in the second quarter of 2023. And that should be just in time for some additional sales growth to hit the fan. Great. Thank you. This is a facility we acquired back in 2011. We've been continuously investing in the plant. Uh, we expect to have a record year this year sales-wise, and we expect to double the sales coming out of this plant in the next two years. As a part of that growth, we continue to invest. So this most recent investment is going to be a $15 million investment in two new vacuum arc remail furnaces. So that's on top of about a $203 million investment we have in the plant at this point in time. The majority of the product coming out of this plant goes into the aerospace industry. Aerospace in general represents about 65 to 70 percent of our sales. And coming out of the pandemic, uh, we see a significant growth in air travel, which is driving the aerospace aftermarket. Boeing and Airbus are beginning to ramp up their build rates in 2023 and 24, which means that they need to buy the metal now. So the, metal, the aerospace metal supply chain is, is uh, very hot right now. Every Boeing airplane has some universal material on it. So it's going into the, the high-end structural parts of an airplane or we're just migrating into the engine side as well. We do business in North America as well as internationally. Uh, it's all based upon approval from large OEMs. Who The OEMs would be companies like Pratt & Whitney, General Electric, Bell Helicopter, Boeing, Airbus. How many employees do you have at the moment and how many are you expected to hire with the expansion? Of course, the whole company, we have a little over 600 employees today and we'll be looking at 750 to 800 employees across the entire company. This plant is a very modern, highly automated facility. So vacuum induction melting we have is state-of-the-art technology that not many people have. And the radial hydraulic forge we have here is one of only two in the Western Hemisphere. So it's highly automated. Uh, as far as employees go, uh, right now we're, we look around 65 to 75 employees. And we would look to that number to be up in the 90 to 95 here in the not too distant future. BusinessJournalDaily.com. Three Minutes With is brought to you by Farmers National Bank. I like a bank. That's a pillar in my community. I like a bank so cutting edge, they have a lab branch. We are so alike. Well, we do both bank at Farmers National Bank. Farmers. Stand strong.